people are always asking me, Josh, what on earth do you do in Africa? Well, I thought, you know what, it's going to be a lot more fun to show you rather than ramble on about it. So here's my Namibian diaries. I work with conservationists from all over the world, and together we're on a mission. A mission not only to protect wildlife, but also the Jutwansi Sandbushmen, who are perhaps the ancestors of all people. So I work alongside these sand communities, and living as we once did, remotely in the bush. We combine our specialist skills and resources, together with the sand's truly unique and incredible wildlife knowledge. This is a knowledge that's been passed on from generation to generation for perhaps 100,000 years owing to their traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyle. And it's made them the best wildlife trappers in the world. Working together, we're really like the Avengers of Conservation. We each bring a unique skill set to the table. And as their culture and wildlife slowly become extinct, our work is increasingly a race against time. So what we do is we survey for wildlife by recording the area's tracks. Some places having much easier access than others. And we're also setting up these camera traps which give us a great idea of the wildlife present. How many beers have you had? Um, none. I'm working. <laughs> Together these techniques allow us to identify just what's really there. And this ranges from the smaller carnivores all the way up to Africa's more iconic species like the lion and African elephant. And by using some fancy science on our data, we can build up population estimates for all these different species, creating a fantastic picture of the wildlife present. We also tranquilize species like lions and elephants and attach these wonderful GPS collars, which allow us to follow their movements. And this little sneak peek into their lives lets us really see the bigger picture of these animals and how they're behaving and the threats that they face. By combining all of this different info into one conservation bundle, we can really identify the threats and help to solve them, such as reducing human-wildlife conflicts between animals and farmers, and more importantly, uplift these local communities that are struggling. All of this together can really help to secure wildlife and people a bright future.